Donald Cardoso Baron, Spiritual Master Father of the Divine Rainbow Child Nelly Belen. Hello, my beautiful divine souls, beings of light, extensions of divine source energy. That's you. Nothing less than that. You're divine, you're beautiful, you're a creator. And we're all connected. We are one, one is all, all itself. We're everyone, everyone is us. We are one with nature. Let me show you this beautiful scenery, beautiful divine soul. We're here in the heart of nature. We're here in this place called Lake and Park Franklin. This is my first time coming here, beautiful divine soul. Um, like like it is, I can, I got, you know, I can choose from where I go. I'm gonna start working a little bit down here and then I'm gonna become, uh, going, um, I'm gonna be, become on the, to go to the other side and start showing you this beautiful place. Wow, look at this beautiful device. This is the first time I'm seeing. It so happens that there's another 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 lake and another beautiful park on the other side. It's called Lake Newwood. So there's two lakes. This is Lake Franklin and Lake Newwood. So we're gonna do this uh, video on Lake Franklin. Beautiful divine soul. So as you know, beautiful divine souls walking and you know enjoying this beautiful uh you know, beautiful day enjoying this beautiful walk on nature enjoying this beautiful walk on the park and that's what it's all about beautiful divine so it's about you doing this kind of walks and uh going hiking so as always see the beautiful nature all around see the beautiful lake and as, and as always, all these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people send them your unconditional love, your unconditional, uh, you know, thoughts and, and, and awareness and, and collective conscience that you have within you and they have within you. But you have to send that intention. Take the first step, beautiful divine soul. You take the first step because you are vibrating and resonating at this particular frequency vibration. That's why you're tuning into this video. As always... Remove these, those shoes and sandals that I'm gonna get, getting ready to do after I make these videos without the, the phone. As you know, I need this to make these videos. But once I do my meditation, I remove every, every electrical device from, from my uh, from my beautiful divine human body. So I I uh, you know remove the watch, remove uh, you know uh, the phone, and remove the socks, the sandals or the shoes and start making that connection with Mother Earth, Pachama Magaya and staying grounded and start doing my sun gazing and, and all these things. So you already know this from my previous videos, Beautiful Divine Soul. And, uh, you know, and start applying this to, to, your, to your routine. Go to nature and start applying these hiking techniques to your routine. There's nothing more beautiful than this, Beautiful Divine Soul. Look at this view. Look at that. You know, can't beat it. That's why, if you are surrendering, if you live in a place where are you surrendering in the city with buildings and all that, um, you know, there's a vibration and frequency. You can do meditations and such anywhere you want, beautiful divine soul, even in your living room, in your bathroom, and whatever you want to do it, you can do it anywhere. But once you go into the heart of nature, when you start hiking, in, in, in the heart of nature, when you start hiking in places like this and then you remove those shoes, those sandals and go, you know, on that side by the water and then you make that connection with the water, with the sand, with the grass, with the Mother Earth, Pachamama Gaia, with the trees, with the birds and you quiet your mind and you don't think about nothing else and you're present in the present moment. That's when you start meditate and realizing how powerful and who you really are. Only then you realize who you really are. You quiet your mind, you're in the present moment, there's nothing else for you. There's no, uh, no thoughts about the, the future. There's no thought, thoughts about the past because you know, uh, even though, Everything is connected simultaneously, and but we are living the present moment, and you you determine by the present moment. You're gonna determine what you what your future is gonna be, beautiful divine soul. You're gonna you're gonna you know create. There's in, 
you know, limitless outcomes to, to what's going to happen. All the possibil possibilities already exist. All the outcomes of your future already exist on the different timelines and on the different, on the different, uh, on the different, um, uh, you know, guidelines, timelines, or, or dimensions. They already exist. It's whether which one do you choose to go into or which one do you tap into or which one do you do you choose at this present moment let me give you an example i could go right now this is my now and i could go and decide to go and go and jump into the lake that's one of my possible outcomes of my future hasn't happened yet i haven't reached the shore i haven't reached the water but if i proceed and keep on going in, in a few seconds maybe in a minute or two i'll be there and then that will be my 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 my, my future that i will do that and i'll be swimming in the water and that'll be my future or i can choose the other outcome which is be keep on walking and keep on hiking and keep on giving and finishing this beautiful video with this beautiful message that's another outcome there's another i could climb that tree and then that's another outcome. It's whether what I choose to do, what I'm vibrating and resonating, but all the outcomes already exist. It's whether what I choose to do in this present moment, in this present moment, the only one that counts, the only eternal one, this one, because nothing hasn't happened yet. It's a possible future. Three seconds ago, I told you the outcomes I could have done. That was the past. It's done, nothing happened. Right now is the possible future that hasn't happened yet because I haven't reached it. I haven't reached the lake. I haven't reached that other side of the of the beautiful forest. I haven't reached the tree. So the possibility is still here. I'm still standing on the same spot giving you the same message. I'm still giving you the same message at the present moment at the same place that I am. So what do I do? Go to the lake, go into the forest, keep on doing the hike, climb the tree, go back to my car. Which one? You understand me, beautiful divine soul. You determine your 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 future. That hasn't happened yet. It will happen at that particular moment, at that now, when you reach that now. So, with that being said, I'm choosing to go into the forest, into the hiking uh, more. So, these are the outcomes that happen when you know and you realize what 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 is the present moment and what it is. But you only realize that by doing meditations and realizing the present moment. So the present moment when you quiet your mind and then you don't know anything else other than uh, you don't do anything else other than 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 than, than, than that present moment that being quiet that, that that put your mind quiet and then just hear nature hear the birds you know don't think about the so-called past the so-called future don't think about none of that and just be present at the present moment quiet your mind listen to the waves from the lake listen to to the trees the wind listen to the leaves moving around and 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 and, 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 just, and, and listen that music from mother Nature, pachamama gaia that's when you get really in tune with God. And I'm gonna proceed to hug a tree. I always do, give it a kiss. Because that's called, also is another technique about raising your vibration, your frequency is hug, uh, you know, hug, um, uh, tree hugging. And these are the beautiful techniques about, you know, the spiritual awakening and being awake and, and, and raising your vibration. Be thankful for, for the oxygen we get, be thankful for the birds that sing, that they have the nest of their big tank, for all the, the ants and everything that, all the the, the, the the beautiful life that is around us. Be thankful for, for, for everything. Be thankful for the water. Be thankful for the, for the, for the fish. Be thankful for the frogs. Be thankful for the, for, 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 for uh, the top holes. Be, be, be thankful for the turtles inside. Be thankful for everything. Be thankful for the, for the logs. Be thankful for the, for the earth, for Pachamama Gaia, be thankful for the minerals, for the rocks, for everything. Be thankful. Live your life in gratitude. Be thankful for everything. And you achieve this by the meditation and by going hiking, by going into the heart of nature, beautiful divine soul. Look at this beautiful place. Listen to the peace and quiet. 
in your mind. Uh, this is what it's all about. I, I'm giving you these messages and these uh, uh, techniques and tips uh, because I care and I love you. Because to love you is to love me and to love me is to love you. Like I said, we're all connected. We are on this together, going into the into the Mother Earth. I mean, into the transition to 5D conscious with Mother Earth, Pachamama Gaia, with all these beautiful light workers, with all these beautiful people around the globe. Whether they, some of them, realize it or not, that's another issue. You come with a place of no judgment. You just send the the high vibration frequency, that that uh, unlimited and that unconditional love. Um, awareness to the space to the universe from your green heart chakra to everyone to every living thing respect eh, respecting every living thing loving everything that's alive lo loving all life forms rocks minerals birds plants trees and the whole nine yard and then you will realize that you are already abundant and then you're it your extension of, of divine source energy, your extensions of the universe. You are divine, you are energy, you are love, you are freaking, you are, and then you, you don't, you realize that you, you are it, and then you don't have to worry about this body. Of course you have to worry about this body by taking care of it, by, 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 by acting from, from the divinity, not from the ego, but you realize that you're more than that, that you are divine, supreme being a divine soul having a temporary human experience on this incarnation that you've lived in in in, in on earth for thousands of years ago in thousands of lives different genders different different um you know uh, countries different uh, uh regions of the world different religions different colors different races different different agendas different the whole nine yards no, you've been you you you've been you been all the flora. You've been the flora and the fauna, beautiful divine soul. You know, I I suggest you uh, uh you know going to deeper if you wanna get more information. I'm gonna uh, drop a link before of Dolores Cannon uh, about about you know what you have to experience before you come to Earth and realize that you have to experience every life form on earth possible in order to have this beautiful temporary human experience on this incarnation that you, you already have but i'm just reminding you something that you, or you already know that it's in core inside your dna and it's inside of your, of your brain and it, it's it's inside of everything you just got to remember and you're coming to this beautiful time which is the age of aquarius the age of light the age of the truth where People uh, like myself are giving you these empowering messages of the truth and uh, love and lightness, uh, love and light, and, and for you to realize that, you know, it's time to wake up and touch others and come and live from that divinity that, uh, that thousands of masters are, are, are telling us. And, and, and we know it's the truth. And then that's what the true messages were from Buddha from Jesus Christ, from Muhammad Gandhi, from all these beautiful masters that I I, I uh, quote and I and I put and I put uh, and I put um, you know as an example that you can follow. If you resonate with one of them, go get and follow them. Do, do not just take my word for it, beautiful divine. So go and go and grab and go go with 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 the person that resonates with you, the one that you're gonna resonate the, the message. There are thousands. Uh, go to my, my 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 videos and 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 if you don't know where to start, start by my first video and then go ahead and and then if you like this video, click like, share, and send it to somebody that might benefit from this spiritual awakening and these messages of love and oneness and and us coming together as one for us to to. Transcend to that fifth dimension with Mother Earth, Pachamama Gaia. We're on this together, beautiful the divine soul. And uh, you know, it's not it's not from my uh, you know my ego telling you, yeah, go ahead and do that. Go click and like, no, you do whatever, whatever resonates with you. Do whatever your heart tells you. But uh, just keep in mind that people that are giving you these kind of messages, they're doing these things out of the heart and. And think about it that we shouldn't have to. If if I if I will only think about myself and be selfish, I wouldn't even give him, be giving this message. I will just be quiet, live my life, and I don't really know what I have achieved. But I know what I am, and I I, will, I know where I'm going. I know what what's gonna happen, and the whole nine yards, just like the rest of these 144 hundred thousand masters. But here I am giving you this message. So that's that's why being grateful comes into play. But people like this, 
you have to be grateful that you're able to hear and listen to these messages. So I tell you, my beautiful divine soul, it's not too late. Start your beautiful awakening. And I'm going to say goodbye and tell you that I love you with all my heart and leave you with the magic word. Namaste. Talk to you soon, beautiful divine soul. If you resonate with this video, please share and subscribe. Namaste.